A bill that would ban dedicated lanes for the Indigo Blue Line bus project is one step closer to becoming law. But the author of the bill made changes which would allow Indianapolis to keep the new no turn on red signs they added last year. WRTV State House reporter Meredith Hackler tells us what's next. Banning the use of dedicated lanes for the Indigo Blue Line project has been the talk of the city this last week. Senate Bill 52 passed on second reading in the Senate on Thursday. It's something that Indigo has said would kill the Blue Line project. People who live on the Near East Side say this is something their community wants. We still have a lot of people who take the bus and we have a lot of folks who are moving into our residence who don't even have cars. Senator Aaron Freeman has also targeted the Indianapolis City County Council's decision to add several more no turn on red signs, but an amendment to his bill comes to a compromise with the city. We're going to study this issue exactly like we're going to do in Senate Bill 52, and uh, no further signs will be um, put up until at least July 1 of 2025 to allow a study to be done. If the bill passes out of the Senate, it heads to the House, where Speaker Todd Houston avoided a direct answer on if the legislation will have support in the House or not. Let's take a pause on it, on the dedicated lanes discussion. It's been a discussion for a long time, uh, and, and let's just get to a comprehensive discussion on road funding, that being part of it in, in the 24 se 25 session, and, and uh, and then they go from there. Democrats in both chambers say that the state should let the city of Indianapolis govern itself. We need uh, a robust uh, public transportation system uh, in our state. So anything that we're doing to um, stop that from happening is, is, is a bad thing and it will stop our, our state from growing. He doesn't even represent those people. He does not represent Irvington. A sentiment some Indianapolis residents agree with. We support home rule here in Indianapolis. The president pro tem of the Senate, Roderick Bray, says the Indiana General Assembly should have a say on how the project moves forward. General Assembly uh, obviously gave uh, initial authority to do this as well, and so we certainly have a say in it as well. At the State House, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Right now, the Near Eastside Community Organization is hosting a support local businesses and the Blue Line event at Futuro Pizza. They say they plan on hosting more of this in the future to show businesses that will be impacted by the Blue Line that their community supports them.